Hey friends, it is officially baking season. So let's dive into this and do a lot of baking and do a lot of snacking. All right, friends, we are starting off with my mama's favorite Christmas cookies. And every good Christmas recipe starts with lots of butter and lots of sugar. That's what I have in my mixer here. We've got a cup of white, a cup of brown sugar, a cup of regular butter, and a cup of peanut butter. We need to cream this all together. Now that it's all creamed together, we're gonna slap in two eggs, some vanilla, some salt, baking soda, and our three and a half cups of flour. So the reason why I think these are my mother's favorite are because they are filled with candy. The recipe says that it's supposed to be filled with Snickers. I don't have Snickers. And since there's so much peanut butter in the dough, I thought Reese's peanut butter cups would be perfect. So I am going to sit here and unwrap a bunch of these and wrap this cookie dough around them. And then they need to go in the oven for about 10 minutes at 325. All right, these beauties are out of the oven. I need to melt up some chocolate and drizzle them on top, but these cookies need to cool so that the chocolate doesn't just run right off. And I was gifted a little helper. Yeah, I was. You say hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Yeah. All right, friends. I have a super simple no bake recipe. If you hear my kids being wild, it's because they are being wild. You can use regular Oreos, but I don't feel like they make that much of an impact flavor wise. So I just use the cheaper ones. But you're looking for like the chocolate sandwich cookies. You need a brick of cream cheese. And then you use one or the other. You don't need to have both this chocolate co candy coating or the vanilla. I think I'm going to do the vanilla and then top with some sprinkles. So super simple. You only need one, two, three, four ingredients. And I am going to put this whole package of Oreos into, not Oreos, my off-brand Oreos, into my food processor with this brick of cream cheese that's already brought up to room temp. And we're just gonna mix them up and roll them into balls. So I turned this on and this only took like literally five seconds. So you just wanna crunch them up till they're nice and crummy like that. And I'm going to drop in the whole brick of cream cheese until it kind of makes like a little dough. Now that it's all pureed, blended up, whatever you want to call it, I'm going to use my little Scooby Doop here. I don't know what the size is. I don't even know where it says it on this. But it's a pretty small one. I am going to roll these into balls and let them chill for like at least 30, 45 minutes so that when they go into this warm candy, they don't like totally melt and become a mess. Into the refrigerator they go. These quickly became a family affair. Amelia wanted to come help. She did the sprinkles, but all you do is you just microwave the chocolate. It gets all nice and liquidy in the tray. Roll the balls in them and then put some sprinkles on top. Definitely toddler helped me with these. <laughs> And if you haven't learned this hack with a food processor or a blender, it does a lot of the cleaning for you. I still hand wash it, but it gets a lot of the yuck off if you put a little bit of soapy water, hot soapy water in here and you turn it on. All right, and another no-bake recipe for you is some peanut butter balls. So obviously we need some peanut butter. We have regular butter, vanilla, Rice Krispies, powdered sugar, and once you have all that mixed together, you are going to coat them in chocolate. 
I like to use my kitchen hand, my mixer, but you could very easily do it with a handheld mixer, or if you've got muscles, you could do it with just like a rubber spatula. We are moving into Nick's favorite cookie. We are making a chocolate peppermint one with a kiss on top. And just like every single good holiday recipe, it starts with a bunch of sugar and a bunch of butter. <laughs> peppermint chocolate mixture all mixed up we need to roll them into one inch balls and coat them in some sugar before they hit our pan to go into the oven before I put these beauties into a freezer bag um, to wait for Christmas, they went into my freezer and flash froze just like this. So these are already frozen. So I'm gonna put these in baggies. I recommend doing that with these kind of cookies so that your kisses don't smush. Oh my goodness, the snow in New England always gets me in they the holiday mood which of course gets you into a baking mood i love making these christmas cookies for my family thank you so much for tuning in and staying this long i know this video has been a bit choppy because amelia was very excited to help me bake this year which has been very fun but we are in that fun stage of toddlerhood where we do not keep our clothes on so i needed to uh film what I could but obviously my daughter having fun and helping me cook was more important than making a video so here's my husband um rolling and cutting out gingerbread men I also made loaves of bread to go for gifts this year so I made a bunch of mini loaves those were like the size of my hand if all spread out I used my bread machine and then I kneaded it and cut some fun designs into each loaf. But again, I made those for gifts and then I will have some out on Christmas as well for us to enjoy with our dinner. And then Amelia and I made these um, applesauce cinnamon ornaments to give away. Some of them are gifts that we're going to give away and gift baskets and then some I hung up on our Christmas tree. They smell amazing. Whenever I go to plug in the lights on our Christmas tree, I kind of have to put my face behind the tree a little bit. And I. The stocking, all right. I want to do a lawn stocking. Nice job. Whoa. Nice job, though. One. Two. Here, just put that down. Good job. All right. Oh, we got all of our Christmas cookies made and baked. They are in our freezer waiting for Santa to come. We are very excited. Amelia was super into baking this year. Thanks for hanging out with me and watching the whole video if you made it this far. Because I know it was more choppy than my usual videos. But like I had mentioned, my toddler wanted to help and that always takes priority. I am a mom before I am a YouTuber. But again, thank you so much. Merry Christmas, and I will catch you guys in the next video.